welcome to another video on literature review uh, this is the basically the second chapter of your uh, thesis when you are writing your phd thesis in my past video i little bit talked about how to collect your literature how to do literature review uh, for every chapter of your thesis there must be introduction because introduction will tell the readers that what are the main main things in this chapter as i explained before that my particular work was on disensitized solar cell okay disensitized solar cell it is a kind of solar cell so now how to collect literature about disensitized solar cell i need to go from very basics tell the readers that what is basically solar cells and there are three generation of solar cell for example first generation solar cell second generation solar cell third generation solar cells my work is basically the third generation solar cells so for example if a layman reading my thesis and he she does not know about the solar cells so i must need to talk about first generation solar cell what is first generation solar cell it is basically silicon based solar cell second generation solar cell is basically thin film technology the third generation solar cell is just the transparent in those kind of things solution processable uh, technique used in third generation solar cells now so my literature should be composed of general overview of the solar cells a short few paragraphs of the three uh, generation solar cells and then i will come to my particular field disensitized solar cells now disensitized solar cell is solar cell is a device it's you can say this is a device so it composed of many parts so my part is basically photo you note solar in disensitized solar cell there are uh, uh, four major parts photo anode electrolyte dye the color we use and counter electrode my work was on photo anode or photo work, working electrode so look now the story so how i will arrange my literature review basically this photo anode is in disensitized solar cell and disensitized solar cell is a kind of solar cell which is lying in third generation solar cell so i will just read about general Uh, solar cells then i will increase my literature for disensitized solar cell and then i will further increase my uh, literature for photo you know uh, in disensitized solar cells so i hope it is very very clear now because when you are working in a specific thing you need to uh, collect literature a lot for that for example my special work now is tin oxide photo you know material for disensitized solar cell so this is one part in disensitized solar cell i told there are four parts so i have to work on this so look let, let's let's see now look my contents brief history of photovoltaics is explained this is general brief history of photovoltaics i explain the uh, audience that what is basically uh, uh, photovoltaics and you see uh, i explain here very easily uh, this is second generation solar cell here we also call thin film and i think there is a first generation solar cell i may explain but it uh, it will increase the uh, uh, time of video so i am pretty sorry you see here this is first generation solar cell i explained and uh this second generation solar cell also called thin film solar cell is i explained you see now and uh my work is uh, on uh, third generation solar cell so i will also come here to the third generation solar cell i am telling the audience the the pros and cons of the first two generation solar cell the first two generation solar cell here you see and now i i i, I now you see i just change my topic to my particular field disensitized solar cell you see now so this is basically in the coming in the third generation solar cell this is what i want to tell you that in literature review when you are working in some field so you must need to uh, talk about that little bit broadly and then come to your specific field now i am coming to your specific disensitized solar cell now here you see working principle of disensitized solar cell so now i am telling the readers working principle 
I am talking about the photo node. You see, generally, this is the photo node. I am talking about the die. This is also the part because I need to tell the radials. The third part is the electrolyte. Is explained whole transport layer. The fourth part is counter electrode. You see, this is now the brief overview about the die sensitized solar cell. Now my work is photo node. Now I will come to my 10x side is a photo node for die sensitized solar cell. Now this is my specific field. So you now you just go and this is all about the 10x side. I just talk about the crystal structure of 10x side first. This is die sensitized solar cell using pure 10x side and their mini nano structure. You see. I tell the people that in oxide nano crystallite, in oxide nano particles, in oxide nano particles, in oxide nano particles, nano wires, nano fibers, nano rods. They uh, people a lot use this. People use a lot. <coughs> this is all pure material they use. You see, this is all about in oxide. Now I am just, just telling the readers that in oxide nano particles, nano sphere based photo you note. Or large surface area, nano spheres. You see, I just give the schematic diagrams, and I just say the readers that one-dimensional to next side nano structure, one-dimensional. So now I'm increasing my uh, specific work. This is three-dimensional nano structure to next side. Initially, I give the brief overview of solar cells because my field was in solar cell, diasensitized solar cell. Then I give the brief overview of diasensitized solar cell. Its main main parts, four parts. Then I come to my particular part, that is the photo node. You see the composite structure of ten, ten oxide nanos. The composite. This is very lengthy process. You see here, this is the composite people use aluminium and ten oxide, mesoporous ten oxide MgO. You see, this is the composite people use. This I also tell the reader, and I all these data get from uh, literature, from papers. You core core shield, you know, photo node core shield. You see here. I am telling the reader all about ten oxide photo node in die sensitized solar cell. Hybrid photo nodes, doped photo nodes. <coughs> you will also do doping in ten oxide. So doped photo nodes. <coughs> this is the conclusion of my uh, uh, literature uh, review chapter. And where are all these data, these tables, data got from? This is I got from the papers. From publications, for example, pure SNO2 based disensitized solar cell. You see, so many papers are here. You just <coughs> you just open these papers and you just you read it. Mostly the introduction part and the uh, 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 and the uh, uh, you see this is ten oxide counter electrode, but this is you use and. <coughs> This is the pure. This is the pure electrode people use here. For example, you lick this one. Precise synthesis of nanoparticle film for efficient fiber shape. That's what you see. So when you read the abstract, so <coughs> you will get the whole data. Uh, whole. Ten oxide nanoparticle film is directly prepared by in situ uh, in situ thermal uh, calcineous isopropanol solution obtained. Uh, blah blah blah. In use is a construct. I will introduce the titanium titanium wire. You see. So they use here ten oxide nanoparticles, the photo node. Okay. So from the here, I just got this uh, uh, <coughs> a literature. Uh, the whole literature is here. You just need to download these papers. Uh, you see here, uh, and, and, and now you be doped ten oxide here. So these are the paper here. You need to divide like this. Uh, so it will really help. Here, this is also doped ten oxide. I did a mistake. I did not proper arrange my paper. So Uh, this is UC ten oxide combined with titania. So this is very nice. You must need to arrange your paper uh, in this way, so it will be easy to find uh, by name. As you know, two with zinc oxide. This is the composite structure. So you just read these papers and just uh, compile your uh, literature. You must need to give the uh, references as well. Okay. Thanks for watching. Now I hope you can uh, collect your literature and arrange in a proper way. Thanks.